Okay, so here we need to simplify this exponential expression. How do we do it? The first step is to make sure that all your exponents are in the same place. I have a to the fourth, b to the negative seven. On the bottom, I have b seven and a to the fifth. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is to work with the letters and then we'll simplify the numbers. So, the first thing that you should do is to go ahead and bring all the letters to one side. Since I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually here dividing, I will actually subtract. So this A4 is on the top, but when I bring this five to the top, it's gonna be four minus five. This seven goes to the top and this is negative seven minus seven. Be very careful because people have the tendency of eliminating these two. Remember, when you have exponents, you need to subtract if you have them um, like this as a fraction. Now, I have four minus five, that's equals to negative one. Negative seven minus seven is equals to negative 14. However, I can never have negative exponents. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring them down because anytime you have an exponent that is negative, for example, let's say that, um, let's say that you have something like this, like a to the negative three, that is the same as one over a to the three. So that's basically what we're doing. We're bringing both of these down and what do I get? I get a to the one positive and b to the negative 14 becomes positive. Then 14 and 42, when I simplify it, well, let's see, 14 divided by 14 is one, and 42 divided by 14 is three. You can do this step by step and you will get the same answer. Like you can go ahead and divide it by two, and so on and so on. And that's it, you get your exponential expression.